Cool. All right, so we got ourselves a nice uh, package in the mail today. Uh, this was one of the last things I bought um, before, you know, the whole job loss stuff. But um, yeah, looking forward to opening this up. It's definitely a very good lot. I was very happy with what I paid for it. Um, if it's what I think it is, I, I think it's what I think it is at least. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get her open. Obviously I cut the uh, address labels out, but this thing is taped. So it's gonna take me like five, 10 minutes just to get into this. So I'll have to figure this out, but um, it's clearly well packaged, which is very good. Um, I probably spent like 80 bucks on just shipping tape alone. So kind of joking, kind of serious. That cut off in there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the Leafs not doing any major trades today was fine. I think a lot of people like overreacted to yes, losing the your own Zamboni driver is bad, but at the same time, like if nothing's out there, it ain't worth it. Okay, so it is a lot of paper crumpled up here, so I just gotta get rid of all this stuff. Good thing I have a recycling bin literally right beside me for this very reason. Um yeah. yeah, I love the do not drop on it. I mean, in fairness, you don't want to drop this. I think this is everything. I just got to do a quick count here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, that should be everything. Uh, so, all right, let's see here. Let's go... Now it's kind of like, move you to the front. Here, hang on, I just want to order this a little bit better here. Gotta go from, gotta save at least some suspense here. Uh, that one can go kind of to the back, that one can go kind of to the back. That one can go right about here. That one's good there. Uh, this is not my personal graded stuff. This is, I've just bought a lot off of eBay. So that can go here. This one is at the very end. But yeah, this is mainly graded cards. So there is a lot. Okay. And I think this one can go kind of up here. All right. I think that's good enough. Okay. So we have 17 graded cards here. Um, kind of got them in a nice little order. Uh, they're all, you'll see their grades are all pretty much the exact same. Uh, but yeah, they're all very rookie based. So I'm just gonna turn this monitor off quickly here. Uh, let me get my knife out of the way here. And, all right. Um, da, 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 da. That's probably a little bit better. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so yeah, the first one is a Braden Shen Young Gun, Gem Mint 9.5, 9.5 on every, everything except nine on corners. So pretty nice card. Um, yeah, you can see why the corners got a nine. This top left one's a little bit dinged up, but outside of that, everything else is pretty good. So here, I'll have to just lift this up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit, but it's, it is this corner that's a little bit dinged up. Nothing major. Uh, again, that's why it's got a nine. So it's not perfect by any means, but it's still in really good shape. Uh, next up we have, take the price tag off here. This guy put a bunch of price tags that aren't relevant on them at all. Unless he had them way higher, but we'll see. Uh, we have a Thomas Hurdle one. Uh, again, nine, like nine, five on three things. And then just a nine on, um, a nine on corners again. Is that the same? Yeah, the same as Shen. So looks like they had some corner issues with a couple of these, but this one actually, the corners look pretty clean in comparison. Uh, maybe the bottom one's a little bit dinged, but no, the corners actually look pretty clean on this one. 
So, yeah, the corners actually look decently clean on this. I don't know why, compared to the Warrant or the Shen, you'll focus. Yeah, like that one's very clean. That one's a little bit fuzzy, but like that's just normal. That's a little bit pushed in. It definitely could have gone a 9.5 on corners, but it's kind of in between. But yeah, so Domish Hurdle, Young Gun. It's another, again, just good one. Uh, next up, we have same thing uh, Nikolai Ehlers. So you got 9.5s on everything but corners, which got a 9. So, um, uh, same thing here, this one. Okay, you can kind of tell the corners are a little bit worse for this on the bottom. Yeah, on the, the bottom two are kind of like the ones that got dinged a little bit. So, that one, and then, I don't know if you can get, that one you can see, but everything else on this card is pretty good. So, again, happy with it. It's a 9.5. It's in very good shape. It's a young den. That's generally where you want your grade cards to come out of. Uh, next one up is one of the only players the Detroit Red Wings have left in Dylan Larkin. It's the same thing here. Uh, you're going to see the 9.5s on everything except corners, which got a 9. Uh, but Gem Mint 9.5. Nothing super wrong there. A little bit of case chipping, but that's very, very normal, um, especially when you're getting cards shipped. So nothing. Again, like nothing worth noting about, but another really good pickup there as well. Um, Larkin's probably a little bit on the cheap side for right now. Um, but yeah, same thing on the corners. There's a couple that are a little bit soft. Uh, this one, especially in the top left, is a little bit soft. You won't really be able to see it too well on camera, but you can definitely tell why it got a 9.5, so, or a 9. Uh, this one is the one that I paid the least for but it's also got some cosmetic damage to the case, which is fine. It's still like, again, it's nine fives on everything except nines on corners, which is gonna be the theme with a lot of these, but Zach Wierenski Young Gun, as you can tell there's a nice crack in the back of the case. But again, that's just cosmetic. It doesn't actually affect the condition of the card. Uh, the card's still a nine five uh, with, you know, the nine on the corners, and yeah, the corners are a little bit soft, so same thing here. Corners are a little bit on the soft side. I don't know if I can get this close enough. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit, but yeah, same thing there. I, I got a really good deal on it though, so that's why I got it. Um, especially when you buy in large lots, if you can save on shipping, which I did, uh, it's generally the best way to go about things because you want to. I mean, you want to save on shipping. Uh, all right, uh, next up is, this is actually good timing. So that's your Demco 9.5. Um, this one again, this one actually got it on edges. Edges only got a nine, the corners got a 9.5. Um, yeah, I guess that top edge looks a little bit weird, but outside of that, you know, it's pretty sharp. So 9.5 Demco. Hopefully he uh, plays well considering Markstrom's out, but not bad at all. Uh, next up, another player that I quite like and uh, kind of fits in with a budget, kind of a budget player right now. Uh, this one actually got knocked on centering. It got 9.5 on everything else but centering. Seth Jones, Young Gun. So, uh, do I have actually, who is the other, I think is the hurdle? Just so you guys can see what centering kind of being off looks like. Where where is this one centered incorrectly? It looks like it's top bottom. Oh no, it's left right centering, I think. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit of both, but honestly the hurdle centering's worse. So yeah, I think the hurdle centering is actually worse than the Jones. Um, so like here's, so again, like here's the hurdle. 
I really need to find a way to get rid of the glare off the uh, window here, but I'll figure that out at some point. So like you can tell on the back actually that the hurdle is kind of off-centered from left to right. You can tell by the margins just by the like young gun text framing, unless it's how it's supposed to be. The bottom looks fine, but the top looks a little bit off. And the Jones, the Jones might be top bottom centering. It's actually tough to tell here. Um, Cause the back seems more centered than the hurdle at the top. The bottom seems a little bit less centered. So I'm not sure what they're going off of for centering here. I'm guessing it's top bottom, but it looks, it actually looks more center than the hurdle. So, I mean, if the hurdle got a nine on centering, it only would have been a nine. So then again, probably wouldn't pay that much for it. So at the same time, it's like one of those, eh. And next up is a Matt Barzell young gun, nine five. Uh, definitely a good player. Uh, good, kind of like a good buying point for him right now. So. But yeah, no, everything looks pretty good on this card as well. It's the edges that got a nine. Um, yeah, I can see that. It's not perfect. So, but Barzell, uh, 9.5. Yeah, I bought them all graded. So this one is one that's actually the Beckett kind of, it's their value grading, I think is what they call it. So it's the one where they don't do the subgrades, but it's an Eichel uh, 9.5. So Eichel Young Gun 9.5. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty happy with that guy. That one was one of the bigger ones that I got a deal on. Um, there's a couple of these. The higher end ones I got really good deals on the lower end ones I just saved on shipping pretty much. Um, another one is this Willie Nylander young gun here. Uh, nine five again, nine fives on everything except a nine on edges. So again, just good one to have. He's a good player. Um, I have a feeling the Leafs are gonna do well in the playoffs this year. If they don't, they don't. Yeah, these are, these are all from one seller. And then here's the, Here's one of my favorite pickups actually was a Panarin, um, Panarin 9.5. It got a nine on edges, I believe. Yeah, the nines on edges. So yeah, 9.5, pretty good shape if I do say so myself. I can see why the edges got a nine if you can tell right, if it focuses, you can kind of tell right on the edge by the left wing there, there's a little bit of chipping in there. So definitely not quite a 9.5 on corners or edges, but um, still very solid. Uh, next up we have Johnny Gaudreau. Uh, best way to find this kind of stuff is actually just generally speaking eBay would be, that's what I got all of this through. So, uh, but yeah, Gaudreau 9.5, everything is fine except for corners, which is a nine. Um, Yep, no, everything's good. He just had to take a pee. So his corner, he cut a little bit of corners. So, God, that was that was the best moment of the trade day today. Um, I said I don't know why this one was so far in the back, but uh, nonetheless, still a good one. This one actually has a ten, so it's actually a little bit better than the other ones grading wise because it's got ten on centering, nine five edges, nine five surface, and nine on corners. It's a Logan Couture. Uh. It is a really well centered card. Again, another young gun. This is an 0910. Yeah. So pretty, pretty good. Man, pretty good shape. Uh, next up, I've got a lot of him now. I don't know how I've ended up with so much of him, but again, another one with a 10 and a couple nine fives. Uh, Patrick Lina young gun. So. 9.5 overall, 10 on surface, 9 on centering, 9.5, 9.5, and 10, or 9.5's on corners and edges. So, it really got knocked that much for centering, huh? I was shocked, I'm shocked it didn't get knocked a little bit more on corners, but, you know, it seems, again, like, it seems okay, so. I want to know how they actually measure centering on these cards. Like if they just scan them and then overlay them, but 
We'll see. Uh, next up is a true 9.5, so it's a true gem mint. Uh, true generally means that all three, or like all the subcategories are actually like 9.5s. Uh, this one has 9.5 on centering, corners, and edges, and then a 10 on surface. It's a Matt Barzell Young Gun Canvas. I believe this is from Series 1 as well. So a little bit of a tougher pull, but nice one there. Um, and then next up in a similar vein, uh, although it only has one, it doesn't have a 10, instead it has a 9, uh, is another Willie Nylander, this time the Canvas Young Gun. So pretty good. Again, 9.5 is on everything except corners, which got a 9. Corners getting a 9. Okay, it's the bottom left corner that really got dinged up there. You can, you can see that one on camera, definitely. So, um, canvas cards either grade really well or they don't at all. Oh no, I was, I don't think I was under 500. I forget how much it was, but it was up there. Um, and then final one is one that I'm just really happy to have. It's a PD95. So I've just needed to get a PD95 in my collection. So that's one I'm really happy about. And she empty. So that is, that's everything from that lot. So to recap, we got uh, quite a few graded young guns here. Um, some canvases. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with them. If I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be selling some of them. Some of them I'll hold on to, but uh, yeah, for the most part, just lots of really good ones. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to actually lay them all out here, but so yeah. Uh, I, no, I was definitely over, this is, this was part of my, instead of getting series two, I got this, instead of getting a case of series two, I got some great gun guns. So got the Panarin, Nylander, Eichel, because like Eichel's up there in terms of getting him graded at a nine five Panarin as well. Barzell, Nylander, uh, like some of the cheaper ones were like the Seth Jones, uh, the hurdle was cheaper for sure. The Demco was cheaper. The Wierenski was the biggest deal, but that's because it's got the case crack on it. So let's build a nice little tower of gray cards here. Um, you got the Demco, the Wierenski, the Larkin, and then the Ehlers. And then let's see if I can actually display these all here. Yeah. Get this in there. Let's get these all centered. There we go. I guess I can take the uh, plastic off the uh, off the shin. So yeah, added 17 graded young guns to my collection, which is no small feat. Um, again, pretty good player selection here. I'm just trying to cover up the light. It's right here. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, everything's, you know, 9.5 or higher. Um, which is great. I mean, they're all nine fives, but some of them have like a little bit more than a uh, nine five and then some are a little bit under, but um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely looking to move them, but at the same time, I'm looking to just kind of like, I don't mind holding on to graded young guns of players, especially when I know I got a reasonable price on them just cause they have a chance of shooting up when it comes playoff time. So like for example, if Columbus makes it in there's, and they do well, then Seth Jones and Wierenski are probably both going to see a bump. If the Rangers make it in or if Panarin wears heart, wins heart, because he's actually got a legit chant, that's bumping up. Larkin is definitely a hold for a little bit. Uh, Line is a weird one. I don't know what he's going to do market-wise, but it's just it is at a really good price, so I figured I'd scoop him up. Uh, Demko is just because I like Demko. Uh, Shen was just, again, good price. And a good player, a little bit undervalued, I'd say, still. But uh, Barzell Canvas, obviously, like Canvas doesn't quite hold as much value as a regular, but because he's a Series 1 Canvas and a Series 2 Young Gun, they're about the same price. Um, Hurdle, again, was a good buy. Uh, the Barzell regular one, I actually think I got for less than the Canvas. Uh, the Nylander is just a really nice one, again. Um, Nylander is a player that's going to probably go up again. He went up from the off season to now. Uh, so if you're able to pick up some of the stuff in the off season, it is definitely a good buy. Uh, you have the Ehlers, which is good. The Eichel, which is just, I mean, Eichel's kind of undervalued as it is right now. Again, Panarin, 
Gaudreau's kind of dropping a little bit, but so I figured I'd pick one up while he's kind of a little bit on the cheap side. And 14-15, Series 1 isn't. Uh, series 1 is kind of easier. Series 2 is what you're looking for. The Couture is just a cool card. And then, yeah, finishing things off with the PD. So this one I'm probably going to hold on to for a little bit. I have a lot of PD stuff in my collection just because I think he's going to really bounce back once people realize how good he is. But, yeah, 17 card graded young gun. Mail day. This is what 17 graded young guns look like. Let's see if I can get 17 young guns just stacked in top loaders here. Just so you see size comparison for those who don't realize like quite how big graded slabs are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, let's just do 17 top loaded cards. 16, 17. Wait. Yeah, that's 17. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is what, uh, this is the size comparison, uh, for those who are unaware of, like, how big, uh, graded slabs are. This is the same quantity of cards, just in top loaders and sleeves, and then, you know, you they equal about the height of only about four. So, uh, but yeah, overall, cool cards. I'm working, I'm also working on actually getting a better display for stuff so you don't have this weird glare, um, but yeah, anyways, thanks everyone for coming out. I'm going to upload this to YouTube, and then, yeah, as always, take it easy, and I'll catch you all on the flop side. Peace.